All right, and waking up to a nice crisp morning across much of North Texas Fair Park, currently sitting at 61 degrees, a lot less moisture in the air for much of DFW this morning. Temperatures across the board, you can see things a little bit cooler to the west. In fact, certain areas of the west or western counties, some of you all were waking up to temperatures in the 40s this morning. To the east, it's a little bit warmer. They have not benefited totally from that front that moved through overnight. You can see they're kind of on the fringes still. It is definitely continuing continuing to move in an east direction. But uh, again, dew points really have dropped, and so that's going to make it feel less humid. It's going to be more comfortable. It was a little muggy yesterday. Your winds are relatively light, 5 to 10 miles per hour across the Metroplex. They're going to pick up this afternoon with gusts up to 25 miles per hour. You can see we are drying out quickly in our eastern counties from those showers that moved through overnight, but it did make things a little bit wet this morning on some of the roadways, which are probably pretty dry by now. All right, we do have a very strong potential threat for severe weather as we move through the week. Here's the good news. The severe weather should not affect tomorrow's eclipse. Could still be dealing with some cloud cover here in North Texas, but it's supposed to really pick up after around a 30% chance for storms and showers tomorrow. And really, I should even put that severe possibility on the Monday slide as well. So you've got shower possibilities, storm possibilities, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and again, Monday evening really being the stronger pinpoint when it comes to tomorrow for severe weather. You can see we're in the marginal risk category or slight rather a uh, good majority of the Lone Star State, other areas on the fringes of Texas in the marginal area, but the yellow is what we're watching. Our biggest concern, large hail, very strong winds, and even the possibility of tornadoes. We are going to be watching that situation for you closely here on WFAA and keeping you updated on any of those potential threats. Also, just looking at tomorrow, regarding the cloud cover for the eclipse, where so many people have traveled to North Texas to view it, Here's the good news. It's very strong possibility you could have a break in the clouds and be able to see tomorrow's eclipse. This is a look at around one o'clock and different models have different outlooks. Obviously, these are always being adjusted and changing and updated, but I think it's very possible that areas basically kind of on the northern portion of DFW are going to be facing more high cirrus clouds. Those typically tend to be better for viewing because they're thinner, a little more transparent areas south of I-20 most likely are going to be dealing with those low lying stratus clouds that are dense and thick, and that would be something that could hinder the visibility of the eclipse. Now you do have, of course, this time frame where it lasts uh, basically three hours in the afternoon starting at 1223, but the totality moment that we're looking for is going to happen between 140 and 144. So hopefully it's going to be something that we can uh, definitely experience and get a break in those clouds. All right. Even if it's cloudy during the eclipse, of course, it will still become dark. So just how does this influence nature and animals around you? It's basically going to have a huge impact because they're going to think it's nighttime. They're going to be confused. The birds are going to stop singing. They're going to stop flying. They're going to return to their nests like they do at night. And then you can also maybe go ahead and hear those crickets chirp, which I think would be kind of nice. Our low temperatures tonight, we could easily be in the 40s as a result of this front that moved through. Uh, 48, 48. 49 are the low temperatures for Fort Worth and Dallas. Your 14 day forecast. The cool front doesn't cool us off temperature wise very well, but it is again going to make it feel less humid. And uh, you can see we are in the low 70s for much of this week. Cleo?